hi everyone welcome back to the my channel my name is anil and in this react native video we will see that how we can use the debugger with the react native so we will use the chrome browser for debugging the react native application and uh, we will also see that how we can inspect element with the uh, android emulator and how we can just uh, see that networking request and all right so now let's start so this is my basic code that uh, let's make it zoom out so that you can see it more clear right so on the button click i am just going to submit this form and uh, here i have just three consoles to the log and one more is the warning all right so first of all uh, let's click on the mobile emulator and just press the control plus m and now it will show you just some options here you can just go for the second option which is the debug and whenever you just click on it it will just take some one or two seconds and just redirect you on the chrome so when you just just directly go for the inspect element and here you can just open the chrome and now whenever you just uh, reload your application or you just perform some events it will just show you everything here so let's say whenever i'm just going to click on the submit now you can uh, okay so i already made a debugger so first of all i am just going to remove it and uh, let's refresh it once again so whenever i am just going to click on the submit then here you can see that we go the two console here and another is a warning also so uh, one more thing which is uh, kind of uh, tricky you can say that so whenever you just want to show or debug something a very small thing then you can just use uh, console.warn here console.warn is all uh, is always show here so you can just check that what value you are just getting here right so for that you just no don't need to use the debugger but if you still have a problem on a large scale or in the complex scale then you can just use a debugger also right so let's see how we can just use a uh, debugger now so let's go on the source file and here you can directly see the app.js file here right so I am just going to apply the two debugger one in the console first and uh, one is the console dot one. So now I am just going to click on it and it will just uh, taking me on the directly on the console dot log and it will uh, same working as just working uh, uh, debugging any a front end application right. So you can do debugging here and just do whatever you want and uh, let's go for the next point so how we can just inspect the element for that same here you just you just go have go on the uh, control m options and uh, let's click on the toggle inspector and here you can just select the inspect and touchable and now whenever you just click on any um, component then you will see the padding and mar margin and flex and all all style here all right even with the name also so this is the uh, button and this is inside the app and here you can see that the margin padding and height and width and font size and everything right so right so let's say if you just want to show for the networking request then you can just click on the network and uh, but for now there is a no network request so this is a blank but if you have a network uh, request then you will be able to see directly here right so these are some points so let's uh, look some more points that let's say if you just want to see the dev uh, setting then you can directly go here and you can just see some debugger js debugging uh, more options here and uh, uh, let's say if you just want to stop your uh, fast refresh then you can just select the disable fast refresh option right so these are the options so let's say i just i'm just going to uh, stop my debugging then you can just simply click here and now uh, the application is not going to be debug every with the chrome browser so if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video bye bye take care